hi yes hello and welcome to the channel if you're new here hi my name is ashley and if you're a returner welcome back if you're new here i'm a millennial that likes to go back and watch your older classic movies for the very first time i give you a preview review which is what i think the movie's going to be about based on pop culture we watch it together edit it of course because copyright and then i give you my review did i like it did i not like it did it stand the test of time and i give it stars all based on personal preference and what the hell do I know? So today, if you haven't seen the title or read the thumbnail, I am watching Deliverance 1972. Okay, 1972. Um, you know, for the month of April, I decided that, like, since it was a milestone birthday for me, I turned 30 on April 7th, I decided to use this month as an excuse to watch any and all movies that I wanted to watch without putting them up on a poll on Patreon. And you might be wondering, Ashley, how did we make it to Deliverance? Because I want to understand banjos. That's literally the only reason why I'm watching this movie. I feel like being, for, I don't know, I don't know if this movie has to do with the South. I don't know what this movie has to do with other than banjos. People are like, I hear banjos. And I I want to understand the banjo reference and isn't it like like I want to get this reference so bad other than that I don't know anything about this movie I don't know who's in it I don't know what we do I don't know why the banjos are important all I know is I want to watch deliverance to understand the banjo reference Wefflets? <laughs> so anyways no more diddle dally let's get started on this upload on this millennial movie, whatever day this is going to be on, I don't even know right now, which is the 1972 Deliverance. I don't know what I'm getting myself into. Burt Reynolds? I haven't seen him since, goodness, a long time. This whole goddamn landscape, we're gonna rape it. Oh, Lewis, my. That's, a, that's graphic, ain't it? Me, after too much Taco Bell. You'll be back in time to see the pom-pom girls at halftime, because <laughs> I know that's all you care about. I don't even know if this is that popular of a movie. I just wanted to understand the banjo reference, and so far I cannot figure out what's going on in this movie. I mean, I don't have a lot of information, but... Yeah, there, there's some people up there that ain't never seen a, a town before. Mountain people? Dueling banjos, okay? So this is the banjo movie. This is irrelevant, but seeing them on top of cars, I think me and Hubbin are going to get me a couple kayaks for this summer. True. Look at the junk. This is where y'all are staying? This area may be evacuated already. Because of the river and the dam and stuff? What? I don't understand what we're doing. We're going on a little outdoors adventure, but the people are leaving because of the dam. All my youth and passion spent in that backseat. Oh, yeah? Tell me more about that. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, uh, Lewis? We've got a live one here. You can't introduce yourself? It's just a person. What power company? Nah, about a damn. We're talking about mountain people in this movie, aren't we? I love the way you wear that hat. It's a nice hat. You don't know nothing. I am so confused. Oh, fun. The whole reason why I watch this movie is for banjos and I get it in the first five minutes. Whoa, what is this shirt? What is this shirt? I live back home that way. Is that Burt Reynolds without a mustache? It's so crazy that the kid could just repeat it back to him. That's really cool. Talk about genetic deficiencies. What? That's mean. Come on, I'm with you. Are y'all gonna get into it or what? <laughs> Yay! Okay! Well, I guess I can stop watching the movie now. I just wanted to hear banjos. Get into it, Mr. Hat Man! I don't 
don't like Burt Reynolds without a mustache. Yes! Yes! Woo! Get into it with your fancy footwork! What a pleasant little stop this has turned into! This just makes my little redneck heart happy. Look, he's having the best time! I'm lost. Well then figure it out, my guy. <laughs> God damn. I had the best time just now. God damn, you play a mean banjo. Oh, no handshake for you, buddy. Insurance. Those people are not, I don't know how to tell you all this. Those people are not about to buy insurance on anything. I never been insured in my life. I don't believe in insurance. What are you wearing, Bert? That's my question. Ed, over here. These people just out here trying to make it all work. <laughs> you hit your thumb? It ain't as bad as I thought. I've overreacted to it. It's okay. We'd like to have them cars in the entry when we get there. Oh, they're going to have the cars ready to go whenever they finally dock on their canoes. Got it, got it, got it. What the hell you want to go fuck around that river for? <laughs> Jeez. You get in there and can't get out. You're going to wish it wouldn't. What's in there? Why couldn't they get out? Let's go back to town and play golf. I like that idea. And I don't even like golf. I take 50. Nice. Negotiation. I'll do it for 40. Hmm. Hmm. You good for 10? Who's to say these people ain't gonna steal your cars and scrap them? I mean, hey, you gotta keep a gun on you just in case. You don't know what's out there in the mountains. <laughs> if you keep driving like that, they're not gonna have any cars to drive to where you're landing. You don't think we better let them show us where the river is? If I thought that, I would've let them go first, eh? Well, why do you need their help if you know where you're going? That ain't no river. That ain't no river. Yeah, we fucked up. You did. Where are you going, city boy? <laughs> it ain't nothing but the biggest fucking river in the state. <laughs> gonna like it, Ed. You see the river, you're gonna like it. Well, we gotta make it to the river alive in order to like it, but with your driving, we might not make it there alive. You're gonna kill us both, you son of a bitch, before we ever see you in the water! You're laughing about it now, but it's for real. Listen, Ed. I hear the river, so that's a good sign. Sometimes you have to lose yourself before you can find anything. Okay. Any snakes around here? Probably a lot, yeah. There she is. more months she'll all be gone i'm saying again i hate burt reynolds without his mustache he needs his mustache hey we, couldn't we have found a harder place to get in oh, <laughs> y'all got snacks and stuff if we come off this river and our cars are not down it what's his name that's a great question you can't really. judge people by the way they look chubby you can trust them he just called him chubby that's hilarious Cause I done seen that drives these country roads you don't know nothing about. True. You gonna be with me, Chubby. Get them supplies up there. All right. We really trust these people to take our cars? I don't. Come on, I'm coming on. You need to put on your life jacket, Mr. Man. All right, put on your life jacket. That's what I've said. I think uh, downstream would be a good idea, don't you? All right. Yeah, that's smart. Let's go, let's go. Okay, this does look really beautiful and fun. It looks pretty out there. Whoa, look at y'all, big brave adventurers going down some fast water. Okay, that looks like fun. I could do this kind of white water rafting. Oh, is it Banjo Kid? Look, Ed. Is your Banjo friend. Hi, friend. Okay, maybe you're not friends. Maybe maybe you're not friends. Maybe y'all just had a moment and that's it. You're not friends. I'm gonna say it again. Beautiful. Beautiful out there. I love it. I don't know where this is taking place, but it's beautiful. 
Oh, see, I don't know if I can handle those kind of white rafts. It's gonna be fun! <laughs> hey, what, what happens if we flip this thing over? Flip it back? And if you hit any rocks, don't hit them with your head. <laughs> okay, brave. Wow, wow, wow. There you go. Look at y'all. We did it. Wow. I'm not brave enough. I'd be so scared. Y'all better be careful. Got that whole tree sticking out. Woo! Oh, 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 oh. Got flipped around backwards. <laughs> Look at them. Four best friends having a great outdoor adventure. I love this for them. We're gonna make it. Keep it straight. Woo! Look at them. They're going really fast. Be careful. We don't need y'all bumping your noggin. Is it a waterfall? There's a rock! On the right, watch it now. Okay, you know what? I take it back. This looks totally doable, and I think I could do it. That's the best, the second best sensation I ever felt. <laughs> <laughs> Was the first one, Chubby. Saw it just like us. In a canoe. Yeah, yeah. Don't beat this river. What do you do? Lewis goes from just being a redneck to just very mysterious in a blink of an eye, and I can't figure him out. I feel like fishing with a bow and arrow makes it so much harder. Like, what's wrong with using a regular fishing pole? And you can't wait for it to happen, can you? I was gonna say, it sounds like you're looking forward to it. Rather shitty, Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good job. It's to you, Lewis. Oh, damn, he got one. This is so cute. They have a little tent set up. You know what? This actually sounds like a really fun weekend if you take away the ticks and the snakes and whatever bad thing's gonna happen to them. Is this a real song? Lewis? Lewis does not drink. Oh, Lewis doesn't drink alcohol? I'm surprised. He seems like the kind of person who would love it. If something answers back. There's something in the woods and the water that we have lost in the city. What, wildness? Or as it's better known among the camping types, the instant broad. Instant broad? Something to sleep on. Now, in the name of modern technology, <laughs> our sweet old year. That was weird, what I just watched. He wants to be one with nature and he can't hack it. It's a hell of a time to be telling us that. What? Yeah, what? Oh, where'd you come from? Yeah, I was about to say, scared shit out of me too. I don't know, I thought I heard something. Something or someone? We don't know. Good night, Lewis. Good night, Julie. Oh, he decided he was too good for one of them tents and an air mattress. Oh. Night has fallen. <laughs> and nothing we can do about it. He's toasted. Get into it, friend. There's no repeating it. <laughs> Never mind. What? No one can find us up here. Don't be too sure of that, friend. Hey, we made it through the night, so that's good. If you want to go catch some breakfast, go catch some breakfast. Be brave. Well, we shouldn't go off just off off in the woods. I thought he wanted to do some fishing. But if he's going exploring by himself, that's a bad idea. Oh, hey. Oh, good job. Shoot it. Oh, my God. That's a huge arrowhead. I could be wrong. I don't know a lot about bow hunting. You got it. I'm gone. You got it. Uh, an attempt was made. Not a good one, but an attempt. You can't be scared. Look like I came out of the forest. Uh-huh. Came out of the forest empty-handed. Draw down on a live animal and they get Buck Egger. Hmm. Never thought about it. If you take that chubby boy with you today, okay? <laughs> I got eaten alive last night. By what? Mosquitoes. I'm not used to being hollered at. 
You're not married? But I'm tired. Is the dueling banjo the only song in this entire movie? I'm not mad at it, but so far that's the only song it's been. Where's, where's Lewis and other guy? Where's Lewis and other guy? Look. Yeah, snakes. You know what's so funny? I was just in here thinking about the last time I went hiking. I went to some waterfalls right outside of Nashville. And uh, wouldn't you know if I saw five baby copperheads. And that was enough outside time for me. Who's that? Lewis? Oh, that's not, that's not Lewis. That's not Lewis. How goes it? Oh, oh, don't scare the man with the shotgun. Shit. What the hell you think you're doing? Canoeing? You ain't never going to get down to Andrew. Why? The Sherry River don't go nowhere near Andrew. For sure? And where's Lewis? I guess this river comes out somewhere, don't it? That's where we're going. Somewhere. <laughs> right, yeah, you making some whiskey up here. Moonshine. Making whiskey, right? Ain't that what you said? All you I, no, you we, whiskey? no, said if that's what you're up here doing. That's none of our business. That's right, it's none of your goddamn business. Right. We've... Right, we're just trying to canoe on out of here, buddy. Great. Oh, shit. Howard, I blow your guts out all bleach wood. Oh my god. Require that you get your goddamn ass up in them woods. All right, now right look. Ahead. Up in the woods? Go walking through the woods? What do you do about the canoe? What about all their belongings? Where's Lewis? Be real still. What's he about to do? Belting him to a tree? Just take him right off. I, I mean, what's this all about? What? My question exactly. You ever had your balls cut off, you fucking ape? What? Deliver us from all. Not him saying a Lord's Prayer back there. With all that little old bitty shirt there, too. <gasps> Did he bleed? He bled. Meanwhile, we just got this guy just getting naked. Oh, Lord, his whole ass. How you gonna outrun a shotgun? Uh, <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing, but him smacking him on the ass, making him claw him faster is kind of funny. Don't please, like a hog. Don't Come here, Biggie. No. <gasps> what? All right. You know, give me a ride, boy. All right. All right. A ride on all four. This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> what is happening? Squeal. Squeal louder. Squeal. louder. What? <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Them bridges down. <gasps> no! No! <laughs> while you're while you're doing that to him? For what what am I watching? <laughs> Is it Lewis? Is it Lewis? <gasps> It's your friends. Holler for him. Holler for him or something. Squ squeal like a pig. But loud. Oh my God, that's fucked up. Oh my God, this is fucked up. I was gonna say, is the pipe in your mouth really a priority right now? He got a little pretty mouth, ain't he? What? You're gonna do some praying for me, boy. And you better pray good. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Lewis, any time would be a great time to do so. All right, grab the gun, shoot the other one. Shoot him! You ain't gotta worry about pointing your gun at that guy. Why didn't we shoot the other one? He's gonna stand up? With an arrow through his chest cavity? What are you pointing at, you weirdo? Well, guess what? Now this movie is gonna scare me the death of the woods. And let me tell you something, kinda glad I watched this after moving away from Knoxville because I would not have gone into the Smoky Mountains ever again. There's not one thing to do. I mean, do y'all wanna check on your other friend? Turn over the highway patrol. Tell him what happened. This poor man. I mean, I'll love him, but 
That poor little, that poor man. Like you said, there was nothing else we could do. Oh, 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 how is he still alive? Well, let's get our heads together. Taking him to highway patrol, taking him to jail ain't gonna do nothing. Probably a mountain person ain't actually documented, you know what I mean? Like, probably grew up in the mountains, lived there his whole life. We take this man down out of the mountains and turn him over to the sheriff, there's gonna be a trial, all right. Yeah, we just leave his body there. Get back in your canoes and leave that body there. If you're gonna stand trial with this man's aunt and his uncle, maybe his mom and his daddy sitting in the jury box. And they're probably the same person, honestly. I mean, Bobby, Bobby wants to kill him extra. And I don't blame Bobby for that. You killed somebody! Out of defense! But you're wrong if you don't see this as a game. What do you mean a game? This thing's gonna be hanging over us the rest of our lives! Well, take your arrow. Just how are you gonna do that, Lewis? Break the arrow off, leave his body there, it'll get eaten by animals, it's fine. Drown him in the river. How do you know that other guy hasn't already gone for the police? Mountain people don't believe in police. That guy looks really familiar. We don't have to have close-ups of the dead body. Hundreds of feet deep. We ain't gotta worry about a body in hundreds of feet deep lake. Think about something buried underneath it? No, but after this movie I will. The law? <laughs> the law? There's no law in these mountains. I don't want this getting around. Yep, I support Bobby. It's all up to you, Ed. No pressure. You got a wife? You got a child? Yeah, and if we just bury this body and leave it, they don't have to know. I'm with Lewis. There's the choice. There it was. Now we just gotta stick with the choice. I don't want to watch that part. Just weigh him, just weigh him down and put him in the water and it's done. I don't know where y'all are going, but I feel like there has to be an easier way to get there. Can we close his eyes just because it's creeping me out? Can we just do that? Is he okay? I don't think he's okay. Buddy, you have got to calm down. You can blow your heart up. I just wanted to watch this movie for banjos. Take the gun with you to protect you from other crazy mountain people. And then, when you get to wherever you're gonna land your canoes, just drop the gun in the river. Put his hand in there. God, y'all are awful at burying a body. Put his hand in the dirt. Perfect, ooh, good job. Somebody wanna, I don't know, say a prayer or something maybe? No, he raped Bobby. No, we're not gonna pray over him. What's the plan, Lewis? The plan is get in your canoes and get home. Down down to Hate and get the cars and go home. Sounds like a good plan. Drew! Drew don't wanna talk to y'all right now. Drew, damn it, put your life jacket on. Well, Drew's next. I mean, Lewis said earlier, why do you come on these weekend trips with me? So this isn't the first trip they've been on together. There's something wrong! No, go on! Something wrong with Drew? He just saw a dead body and his friend get raped. That would cause someone to be weird. No, no! Drew! Look out! Drew! Uh, okay, well, now we've lost everything. None of this is good. Go to the other flat rock on the other side. That looks climbable. Okay, where's Lewis and Bobby? Drew's probably dead. Oh, heavens! Oh my god, everybody might be dead, honestly. Where are your friends? Any of them. Okay, there's Bobby. That's good. Where's Lewis? Where's Drew? Okay, why does Lewis make it look kind of cool, though? Oh, God, don't get impaled by half this canoe, please. Where's Drew? Dead, probably. Lewis! Lewis! 
Bobby Lewis is also trying to swim. Just, just follow him. Shot. Drew was shot. I thought he just fell over. Lewis. What's wrong with Lewis? Oh my God! His leg is ripped open. Drew. Drew was shot. Drew was shot. When did he get shot? I didn't hear a gunshot. Drew. I ain't trying to sound like a mountain person myself, but you wouldn't get that kind of echo with that kind of waterfall. That's not how sound works. Go! Why don't you go back to your friend whose leg is ripped open? <gasps> not Drew's guitar! Here's his jacket! He wasn't wearing it! I was gonna say, the jacket has nothing to do with him. He didn't put it on, Bobby. That toothless bastard! Shot him! What does it matter who shot him? It just Drew was shot. I didn't see no. I didn't see anybody. Look at those rapids, Christ! Oh yeah, that's gonna suck balls. Dead. Lewis. Dead. God, I feel so bad for Lewis. He's like the leader of the group, and now he's injured, so everybody's looking at him for help, and his whole leg is cut open. Dead. Listen, he's hurt bad, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. His leg is on the outside of his leg. And we sure as hell know where he's gonna be. Which is where? I mean, he could climb down the cliff and go get in the woods on the other side of the river. Damn, Ed, you big brave. Braver than I would be. Come on, Ed, you got it, buddy. Don't drop your bow. Now would be an awful time to drop your only weapon, friend. Yes. What have you? Is now the time to reflect on what a view it is? Yeah, do it for them, Ed. Do it for them. You got it. Uh. Well, I can't tell if this is about to be the best revenge story or if they're just going to pick the group off one by one. Either way, I feel like it's going to be really great. <gasps> Good job, Ed. My luck, old Toothless, already be up there, have a gun pointed at my noggin. You made it! I'm big proud of you! Man, y'all couldn't text or nothing. You got a friend down there with his leg cut open. Bobby's just going through it in all areas. And y'all have no way of communicating. They could be dead right now and Ed doesn't know. Don't go to sleep up here, Ed. I don't know what to tell you. Don't go to sleep up here, buddy. Oh, okay. You're okay. You're alright. Alright, Ed. Good job. Ha! Ed, 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 Ed. You were too scared to shoot the deer earlier. What makes you think you can shoot? I mean, I guess if it's life or death, you know. Do it. Do it. Get it together. Come on now. <laughs> Really? They raped your friend and then they almost did you. Focus. <coughs> ah, ah! <gasps> oh! oh, 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 gross, gross, gross. <sighs> what do you do now? What do you do now? Pull it through your body? I would rather jump off the ledge and kill myself. Who? Drew? Who? Maybe Lewis? Maybe they found a safe spot? I don't know. <sighs> Whose arrow is that? No. What? No. No what? Oh, it wasn't the same mountain man. It was the same mountain man. Now, where did a mountain man learn it? Where'd he get partials from? What kind of dental insurance they got up in them there mountains? <laughs> OMG, think of the infections that, that Ed and Lewis are gonna get because I got open wounds in that nasty water. Keep the gun. I am so sick of telling y'all this in movies. Keep the gun.
See? Your bow's broken, and what'd you do? Toss fucking gun? Oh good, now you just have a singular knife as a weapon. We love to see it. <laughs> Not real sure why we're doing this. Not real sure why this matters. But who, who shot him though? Who shot the arrow that killed Toothless Man? Did he do it and I just missed it? Oh, uh, he hung him there as like a warning to his other mountain friends. You know what? This is the most fucked up movie I've ever watched. <gasps> oh shit, Ed. <sighs> oh, Ed's gonna die. <laughs> oh god, I don't want to watch this. <laughs> oh, oh, he landed in the water. He landed in the water. I thought he was gonna... I thought he was gonna hit rocks and like we were gonna see him break multiple bones. That's what I thought was gonna happen. Oh, but now he's like tangled up with a dead body. That's not good. He killed him. Good. Is Lewis alive? Lewis, Lewis had a bad night. Clearly. You, you sure it's him? <laughs> Why are y'all cuddling a dead body? See, y'all could have did this right here to that first guy and it would have went a lot faster. All right then. Hey, we got Lewis in the canoe. This doesn't solve our big white water raft thing up ahead, but one thing at a time, I reckon. And... Oh God, it's Drew. Oh God. Oh my God, his arm is not where it is supposed to be. I can't look at that. Oh my god, his arm is dislocated. I can't look at that. What about here? What about right there? Could have been a rock. I don't think he was shot, you guys. Uh-uh, uh-uh. I mean, how else do you carry? I mean, we got one injured in the boat. Oh my god, this is fucked up. Are uh, they gonna? Sorry, Drew. I didn't really know him. W Bobby. Jimmy and Billy Ray. Cyrus? Amen. Bye, buddy. Sad. At least we found his body. Gave him somewhat of a good burial, you know? I was about to say, I don't know what else could go wrong, but honestly, I've learned you don't ask that. You don't ask that. Hey, good job. Where's Lewis? Is he still in there? Yeah, he's in there. <laughs> you know that's gonna hurt like a son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, well, that's not good. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're okay, you're okay, you're okay. We're trying our best. What do you see, Bobby? I mean, and the mountain people told us that this doesn't let out where we thought it did. So were they lying to scare us? Were they telling the truth? I don't know. Like, where are we going? You talk about having to get in shape for a movie. Those are not our cars. But is this where we were supposed to end up? We made it. We made it, man. We made it to what? We're back here. Where's our fucking cars? We got to stop them from looking up river. Oh, that's a good point. I understand, Eddie. I understand. That's right. You're you're on board, Lewis. You got this. You got this, Lewis. I'm so proud of you. All right. Bobby, why are you acting scared of Ed? He's making sure we're all taken care of. Something tells me we're not going to see our cars again. Can they help us? Can they help us? It don't look like it's a Sunday, though. I don't think anybody's gonna be at the church. I'd let Lewis sleep. I wouldn't wake him up till we absolutely had to. <gasps> Our cars! They, they brought the cars. Oh, this is wonderful. Let's go get our friends. Get in your car. Let's go get our friends. Do you have a phone? Phone? They ain't got a phone. You're gonna be all right. 
Oh, they got a phone. All right. Jeez, now poor Bobby's just stuck with the cops. That was your own hair. Didn't think that could be done. <laughs> well, it was a high stress situation, friend. You falling asleep? What was her accent? Oh, hey, Bobby. I didn't recognize you with the hair all done. Do you feel like eating something? Please. He's probably starving. There's a fly on the milk jug. Oh, okay. Thank you. Would you like some peas? Bobby, why are you acting like you didn't witness the same atrocities as he did? <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. You haven't had a second to feel or think or nothing. You've been in survival mode. It's corn special, isn't it? Corn, corn. Oh, I love a good corn too, Gramps. Twelve and a half inches long. No way. That's an orange looking cucumber you ever seen. Yeah, you. That's a that's a big ass cucumber, Grandma. Yeah, well, you recognize that piece of canoe over there? Oh, what type of piece of canoe? What? Well, I, I'd appreciate it if you'd show me that spot. They're looking for the dead bodies? Oh, they don't believe us. They don't believe us about which part? They found part of the green canoe, didn't they, Bob? Upstream, and you got scared. So what, Bobby? Tell them. Ed, I think they found that other canoe. Upstream. Oh, no. Now, what about this? What about it? We've been through quite a lot. More than you know. He took off hunting a couple of three days ago, and nobody's heard from him since. So he got got two? Don't let him go. These boys is lying. Was the brother-in-law the one with the implants? Right over there is the old fire station. Played a lot of checkers over there. I'd much rather just wait in a jail cell by myself than ride around with this guy. Picking up and moving the Church of Christ. That's good. Christ. Church of, to be exact. We're doing everything we can for him, but there's a chance that he might lose that leg. So take it easy on him, okay? Well, that's not good. Well, at least he lives. Lewis, listen. Man, he's a sweaty mess. You know he done got infection in there. Mm -hmm. Lewis. What happened on that last set of rapids? I don't remember nothing. You got banged up pretty good. You probably got some memory issues. R.I.P. Drew. Talk to his wife. I'll do it, Bobby. Thank you. Yeah, Ed promised to take care of Linda in his farewell speech. The grinder boys broke, brought these cars down to you from Ori. Is that right? Oh, no. What's going to be said? There was someone, wasn't there? I, I think so, yes. Hmm. How come y'all really end up with full life jackets? Didn't we have an extra one? Bobby, I don't think you need to help right now. Drew wasn't wearing his. There we go. There we go. I don't know. That's the honest answer, though. He doesn't know why Drew didn't put his life jacket back on after the whole, you know, sexual assault scene. Don't ever do nothing like this again. Oh, you ain't got to tell me twice, buddy. You don't have to worry about that, Sheriff. <laughs> y'all need to get going before the Sheriff start asking y'all more questions. Y'all need to get. Bye, Bobby. I don't think I'll see you for a while. <laughs> Rightfully so, Bobby. Rightfully so. Where are you going to go wander off to, Ed? Absolutely fucking not. Okay, well, that's something. OMG. What you got there, guy? Good for Ed coming and taking care of Drew's family. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No! Scared the shit out of me. It's all right. It's all right. You don't know what he saw, girl. 
And then it's just over? Made on location in Chattanooga River in the Appalachian Mountains. Thanks for the people of Rabin County, Georgia. Oh. Oh, that was the end of it. Okay, well, let's talk about it. All I wanted to do was understand the banjo reference. That's all I wanted out of today. But at what cost? At what cost did I want to know the banjo reference? And there wasn't even a happy ending. Like, I mean, I guess three of the four made it out, so that's good. Four. Three of the four made it out, so I guess that's good. But, like, Lewis is still in the hospital faking memory loss, so he, you know, doesn't have to answer the cops' questions. And, like... You know, you have the deputy's brother-in-law who was out in the woods. Is that who had the partial? You know, because I made the joke. I was like, how's a mountain man going to afford, you know, dental work? Maybe that was the brother-in-law. Maybe that was the brother-in-law. But who shot? I don't know. This movie was somehow not a lot, but a lot all at the same time. Also... I don't know what's, I don't, I'm not really sure what the scariest part of this was, but right on up there is going to have to be Burt Reynolds without his mustache. I don't want to see a naked lip on Burt Reynolds ever again. So there is that. Uh, Deliverance. I don't even, I don't even know how to give this movie stars because it was just. There was no happy ending. There was not a nice, neat bow put on anything. It was just. Trauma after fucked up trauma after fucked up trauma. And so I don't know if you're in the mood to be traumatized by a simple movie that just takes place on the river. But I get it now because, you know, me and Hubbin lived in Knoxville. And of course, that's right. Like that's like 30 minutes from the Smoky Mountains. Right. And so we always heard about mountain people, but I always heard about mountain people being up there making moonshine. Right. I never heard about mountain people that are up there playing banjos and like killing people and making them squeal like a pig and stuff. Well, I'm never going out in the woods alone by myself ever, ever, ever again. Not that I did in the first place, but if I hear banjos, I know what's coming. Anyways, I'm going to have to watch a happy movie after this one, so I hope you like and subscribe to see which one that is. <laughs> Links to social media down below if you want to be my friend outside the YouTubeverse, and I'll see you right back here in the next upload. Bye!